hello to everyone and uh, welcome to Kelly Academy so in today's video we're going to be looking at matrix multiplication so um, before going to that we need to know what the matrix is you know that a matrix is simply a way in which data or quantities are represented in rows and columns now there are basically two types of matrix multiplication my half multiplication by a scalar or multiplication of a matrix by another matrix so now let's look at the first case scalar multiplication in this case a matrix is given to you and you are expected to multiply it with a scalar let's say alpha so what you you're supposed to do here is simply multiply each element by the scalar alpha and that will be easy. that will be it for scalar multiplication now multiplication of a matrix with another matrix in this case it is a bit complicated and many things are supposed to be taken into consideration such as the order of the matrix and so on so now if we are given a matrix let's say this to be multiplied by that or a matrix that to be multiplied with that the order might change the order might vary but there are some conditions that are going to guide us in order for us to do the multiplication now let's take a look at the order of the matrix now the order of the matrix simply gives us the way in which a matrix is represented that is it is a ratio between the rows and the columns of a matrix now let's take a look at this example there is one row. in this case here there is one row and there are two columns so in this case it's a one by two matrix now let's take a look at another example in this case there are two rows and just one column so it's a two by one matrix now this is square matrix and in order for a square matrix the number of rows are equal to the number of columns so this will simply be a two by two matrix now in this, this example we see that there are three rows one two three and just one column so this is a three by one matrix this other example this is okay guys um i would like you guys to pause the video at this point and you give the order of this matrix before you can play it i'll give you five seconds okay so uh this is a one by three matrix now this is another example if you are interested you can pause the video and look for the other before playing the video so if you do that you're going to get a three by two matrix so that is it for the order of the matrix now let's go now to conditions for matrix multiplication we know that to multiply two matrix we need to, to have a good knowledge of the order of the matrix because for two matrices to be multiplied they must be compatible here when i talk of compatibility of the matrix i simply mean the ratio between the rows and the columns of the first matrix with respect to the second matrix so the condition here the main condition here is that when the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix therefore the matrix is compatible now let's take a look at what i'm saying this is a two by two matrix multiplied by a two by two matrix clearly you see that the first matrix the columns it, the, the, the number of columns there are two columns and the second matrix the number of rows there are two rows so in this case the matrix is compatible and can be multiplied yeah and now we look if we look at the the number of rows of the first matrix and compare it with the number of columns of the second matrix we also see that they are equal which is the one in red now the information that the one in red gives us is the result of our final answer it means after doing our multiplication we are surely going to get a two by two matrix so let me take it over again the one in red that is 
when the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix therefore the matrix is compatible and can be multiplied the one in red when the number of columns when the number of rows of the first matrix is equal to the number of columns of the second matrix in the second case therefore our result is going to be in the order 2 is to 2 in this case so the, the best thing to always do is to write out the matrix in this form and look at the ones that are very close to each other if they are equal here the one in yellow if they are equal therefore they are compatible and you consider the one outside for this way to, to give us the order of our result so the best thing to always do is to write out the order and just compare it now let's go straight to examples the first example we have to compute the matrix A that the multiplication of that matrix now at the end of the video I'm going to to bring out um, a short method in which we do matrix multiplication without actually following all the steps so in this case we are giving a matrix to do the multiplication so here I'm going to draw two arrows one arrow will be pointing to the right and the other one will be pointing down now as I earlier said I'm going to show you guys a method at the end of the video that is very short to do matrix multiplication even though this is actually the correct thing to do but that method is very short and straight to the point now we are going to use the swim and dive method in this case we are going to like take this matrix imagine this matrix and place it here and place it here so it's like you take the first case 1 multiplied by this so we are going to get 1 you multiply it with 1 now plus 2 multiplied by 1 so that's for the first position now we are going to do the same thing but now with the second with the second column with the second column so in this case we are going to have 1 by 1 by 2 1 times 2 we are going to get 1 times 2 plus 2 times 2 so before going before we continue I would like to show you guys something now if we have a matrix let's say this this uh, this this is for just example multiply with another matrix let's say this this and uh, that that so basically we do this when we multiply we take the first the first roll multiply with the first column so something of this sort we are going to have our result like that the same thing is going to be done for the second case we are going to have there and the same thing here so you can just imagine doing this over and over and it is going to give you your answer so we clearly see that if you say 2 by 2 matrix our main results will be a 2 by 2 matrix as indicated here so it's something similar happening here so if we continue there we are going to imagine taking this and putting at the center in this case we have 3 by 1 plus 2 by 1 we keep some space here and we have 3 by 2 plus 2 by 2 so if we compute that we are going to get um, 1 times 1 is 1 plus 2 so it's going to give us 3 so it's going to give us 3 and 1 times 2 2 plus um, 4 is going to give us 6 and uh, 3 plus 2 is going to give us 5 and now 6 plus uh, 2 is going to give us 10 6 plus 4 is going to give us 10 so that's our result
Now let's go to the second example. Scalar multiplication. So in this case, what we're simply going to do here is that we multiply each element in the matrix by 4. So in this case, our result is just going to be 4 times 2 is going to give us 12 here. And 4 times so 1 is going to give us 4. So there will be 8, 0, 8, 12, uh, 20, 16, minus 4. So this one, the scalar multiplication works in both ways. So you might be giving your matrix in this form and you are expected to factor out the 4. So if still just to simplify your result because this looks cumbersome compared to that. So this can still be written as 4 times m. Now let's go to the next example. So the first thing we are supposed to do is to write the order of the matrix. So for the first matrix, there are two rows and there are three columns. So this a, a two by three matrix. Now in the other, in the in the second matrix, there are one, two, three. So there are three rows and one column. So it's it's a three by one matrix. Now looking at this three and three shows that the matrix is compatible. So in this case, we can do the multiplication and um, this other one simply shows us our result is going to be a 2 by 1 matrix so now let's do the multiplication and see what our result is going to look like so we are still going to imagine we use the swim and dive method so it's like do that and imagine so we are going to have 1 times 1 so 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 3 so we're done with the first case now we go down 3 times 1 3 times 1 plus um, 2 times 2 plus 1 times 3 so if we compute that we're going to get 1 times 1 is 1 plus plus 4, 5. Now 5 plus 9 is going to give us 14. Now 3 plus 4 is going to give us 7. 7 plus 3 is going to give us 10. So that's our result. Now looking at this result, the number of rows there are 2 rows and 1 column. Showing that our multiplication is correct so that is the solution for that part for this particular question now the last example we are going to take a look at is this okay um the first thing we are supposed to do here is to look for the order of the matrix so the number of rows so there are two rows and there are three columns and here there are two rows and three columns now we have to compare the order. We see that the number of columns of the first matrix is different from the number of rows of the second matrix. 3 is different from 2, showing that this matrix is not compatible. Thus, the multiplication is not possible and our result can never give us a 2 by 3 matrix. So here the, our result just be not possible or incompatible or impossible okay guys i remember saying we're going to i'm going to show you guys a trick at the end so basically the trick is just for us to use one of the matrix and expand it write it in an expanded form twice so we're going to write this now we imagine taking this and putting here so here we have one one so we simply write our one there and our one here so top and bottom it's just that it's a coincidence that there are the same number so if here was two you simply be different so write the same thing again down the same thing that was up here will be written down here and 
we put our addition sign in between so we imagine the second one again we put there so we're going to get two 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 here two here so if we expand we're going to get one we're going to get three there we're going to get five we're going to get six here and we're going to get ten so if we compare this with our first answer it will be the same okay guys um thanks for watching my video to the end and um, please if you have any worries you can put it in the comment section if the video was helpful you can give it a thumbs up you can also follow or subscribe my to my channel so that whenever i upload new videos you'll be notified see you in the next video